welcome back guys to our another video and today in this video i'm going to show you that how can you identify whether a website is vulnerable to SQL injection or not in my previous video i had shown that how can you hack the database of any vulnerable website which is vulnerable to sql injection okay but the question arises that how we can identify the whether a website is vulnerable to sql injection or not so to clear your all doubts i have made this video again i want to say that i am making this video for a special subscriber who just asked me that how can we identify whether a website is vulnerable or not so without wasting too much time just move to a video okay here you, as you can see here i have opened google so the first sign of a vulnerable website that it, it, it will be made at the php language php is a web language right we, we it is a previous version of html as you can see that okay let's start php question mark id equals to okay when you type you see all this so here i want to okay let's click on india my internet connection okay you can see a lot of information came here which have a php id equals to one let's check the first one okay uh, i think so it is an governmental websites name india.com let's, let's put some commands right i've been using a blind sql command blind sql means it is a type in this type we will just ask the website to make some correct statements example and one equals to two which is the false statement right now as you can see here nothing is here right it means that this website is vulnerable and another method to confirm that it is vulnerable or not just to put a apostrophe yes okay okay bang as you can see here look at this 1064 you have an error in your sql syntax check the manual correspond to you to your database server version write syntax so it shows that this website contains sql injection error so it can be easily hacked by any hacker through the sql injection okay let's check our second website i don't have any idea that this website is vulnerable or not i'm doing it right now i even doesn't check it whether it is vulnerable or not okay let's try out okay this is a quite vulnerable let's confirm it you see here uh, when i does not put any command over its url it's showing us the right it shows the right command uh, right page right but when i put any questions command example uh, id okay let's first reload the page okay it's reloading Uh, this is how this page normally is open now we will put some command and one equals to one which is the right statement for right statement it does not change its parameters and for one equals to two which is the first statement okay it does not show any okay let's so this website is not vulnerable let's try with our third website let's cut it we found two vulnerable websites one vulnerable website okay uh, agpune.com slash ajit electricals brand okay it is a type of commercial website okay we can see here mysql fact array expect parameter one inch so this website is also vulnerable so let me copy this website url because i am making out the whole list of vulnerable websites i'm going to paste it in my in my directories okay so here are the some list which i had made of vulnerable websites you can also make a few through okay i'm just going to save it let's okay this website is vulnerable let's check out another website gain okay let's try this embassy mexico government right okay it is a governmental website so i didn't think that it is vulnerable but we should try it okay we are going to inject some commands here okay as you can see here uh, no changes are taking place we will try our another method right we will enter some parameters which could be true or false okay and 1 equals to 2 ok 
okay as you can see here no more changes are occurring it means this website is secured this doesn't contain actual injection error let's try our third website uh, till now we have tried five websites in which we have found two vulnerable websites right okay uh, this website is still loading it doesn't matter okay let's put okay so this is also one of our website because you can see okay let first jobs okay let's try our another this website take a little bit more time to load okay let's take okay as you can see this page is loaded so now we'll try another method right now we we'll just put a apostrophe s okay so you can see here okay the page does not load at a normal stage okay so let's make it clear again when i'm not putting this apostrophe s which is also known as upper comma the page loaded in a proper manner way right okay this website let's try with this website also gain well okay you can see a lot of data of parameters are missing that means this website is also vulnerable to sql injection right okay let's try with another website so we can consider that this website is also vulnerable okay and let's try with this website tss agency india right uh, we will just okay this website is not vulnerable let's cut it national portal of india okay your connection is not secure okay okay that doesn't matter it is a governmental website so we are not able to log in right now okay study in india national okay again this is a governmental website we are not okay okay it's showing quite different things let's check it again okay let's make another criteria let's redo the page okay type some parameters like and 1 equals to 9 okay so this website is quite vulnerable let's move to our second page okay uh, sorry let's check this website now we have checked it right let's skip this made in india right this website uh, let's check it out this this one okay uh, it doesn't contain any error let's try our second method and uh, 9 equals to 0 which is false statement okay this website is not one able to SQL injection let's check it out again this website okay this is a quite governmental website of Islamabad Pakistan and it is secure website also but we may try it okay it is not a one ever website to SQL injection one equals to two again update this website is not one ever okay then we will try this website Okay, again this is HTTPS website so there is no chance that this website should be vulnerable but we still try it okay this website is also not vulnerable okay this website is also not vulnerable so as you can see it takes a lot of time Okay, let's check this website okay this is asfa.org uh, it is an intercontinental website 
okay for sport association right it is a quite governmental website so let's check it out some parameters okay we get a vulnerable website warning that my SQL facts so it is a vulnerable website okay let's try it with another website okay let's check it out again it is governmental website so we may not get any SQL error okay this is a not a vulnerable website to SQL injection we got nearly over five vulnerable websites still running right now okay well let's check it out also brahmos.com brahmos may be a missile right let's check it out okay uh, let's redo the website first and try with another method which is bind this group okay this is not one new website okay let's check it out this also so it is quite easy to find vulnerabilities in website using manual methods okay there is an automated method also I will tell that in another video okay let's check it out also okay uh, it doesn't show any error let's read on the page first it is normal and uh, use another method 1 and 7 equals to 9 okay we had sent to another okay this is not a one new website blog detail okay let's move to this website also Okay, let's check it out. This website is not quite vulnerable. Okay, this website is not vulnerable. Okay, let's check it out. This website also. No, as you can see here, this is a secure website. But still, we try. I know that it will be not injectable. Wait a minute, something has been wrong. Okay, let's check this website. Okay. So this website is also vulnerable with blind SQL injection. It does not show any error, but still it is vulnerable because all the home page materials are not present here. It means this website is vulnerable. And second thing, this website is made with Wix.com. Okay, this website is also vulnerable. So let's move with another try. Let's move to third, fourth page, right? Okay, Lalit Agarwal. It is also type of commercial website. And company okay let's check it out okay no pages found let's try to do admin login okay this website is quite poor okay let's move to our high commission of India Puerto Rio okay let's check it out this website Okay, an error shown means this is not a vulnerable website, but still we will try it. Sorry, no, 1 and 3 equals to 9. Okay, this is not a vulnerable website. Water treatment plant companies in India. So, as you can see, it takes a lot of time, but it is this method is also called hit and try method because in this method. Uh, we just check every website so I, I am just trying to make a tool which will help us on to this this thing at a very low time okay uh, again okay 
some parameters are not present here okay this means this website is also vulnerable okay we get another website okay let's check it out this website also okay it is HTTPS it means it is not vulnerable okay it is not vulnerable so guys as you can see here we had found a lot of website uh, which are injectable to SQL injection and through which we can easily hack the database of them but I recommend you not to hack any type of database because it is quite dangerous for you and you will may get to prison so for now uh, the video is from here also uh, till right also if you have any queries related to this video you may ask in my comment section or you can contact me through my email and thank you for watching us and thanks